I didn't think about the fact that my nails are clubbed. So it's a CF thing. Your nails get like curved. Hello you guys and happy Saturday. Good morning, as we always say. Good morning guys. Oh, what was I going to say? I don't know. What were you going to say? It's Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. Oh, I think I was going to say, uh, sometimes, okay, well, I think I'll just start here. Yesterday I got a ton of cleaning done and it was awesome. Today I've been taking it easy because I did a lot yesterday. Although I still have in my mind that I want to do some Christmas putting away. We'll get there when we get there. Um, my lungs were not great this morning, just like coughing to the point of, you know what happens. But I've been taking easy inhalers help out on days like today. And um, we are going to sing a little. I haven't been able to go to church um, in many weeks and I'm excited to hopefully be able to go tomorrow. And the plan is that I will help lead this song tomorrow, so hopefully this can work out. We've missed doing this together. Yes. Uh, we had a little spurt in there, I feel like while you're on ster steroids, where we were doing it like every week. And, yeah, um, and even after steroids. Yeah, we're gonna go for it this week, and I'm excited, I've been working on my sermon all day, and uh, we're returning to the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew, and so I'm, I'm really excited about it, and uh, this song is gonna be how we close the service. Where should I put them? On this chair? All right, guys, I'm gonna make this a perfect shot for you. I like to leave the camera running because I want you guys to know, like, this is what it's like when you're with us. Like, we are who we are on and off the camera. We aren't performing here. No, like, this is just us. But actually, I have to go to the bathroom, so you can turn the camera okay. off. Oops, sorry. Oh, you got this. Along, the song is called Enough by Chris Tomlin. Just Google those lyrics, and that's what we're singing. Is more. Oh, I forgot we're starting with the chorus. And all of you is more than.
that's no for me. More than all I can. Okay, so I just printed these off a line. Okay, got yeah. it. I didn't know if that was the transition because we were going back to this part. The, like, uh, cut-off part. All I can see. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Do you want to start here? Yep. More than all I want, more than all I need. You want more than enough for me. Love. And then okay. are we going straight here or are we doing this twice? So I... I don't know. So, whatever you were feeling. So, um, I messed up that last part, so I gotta figure it out. Okay. Okay, another random story for today for you. So, do you guys remember I had gotten my nails done with the SNS dipping powder? Not sponsored. It was like really amazing and it lasted for weeks and I really enjoyed it. But it's not superb for your nails. It's fine. Like, I can see where like my nails have grown out ever since whatever. Like, you know. You can see where it's growing out. I don't have it on my nails currently, the manicure. But anyway, I saw a couple of people who also like to do SNS, but they were using, they were like, instead of doing SNS, I bought these fake nails at Target or whatever, and they're just like adhesive, and they stick, and they're great, and they stay on your nails, and they don't hurt your nails like SNS. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get on this bandwagon. I wanna try it. Like, I am not typically that kind of a person that one, gets their nails done, and I've enjoyed doing that a couple of times, and two, I would never go buy fake nails. I don't know. So the other day, Peter and I were at Target. I think it was on our anniversary. And we were walking by the whatever nail department, and I was like, oh my goodness, maybe I should try this. And so they were $5.99, and I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna try this. So I brought them home, I bought them, I brought them home, and they were like a beautiful purple color, like an exact color that I would choose, so it was perfect. And I get them all ready, and I put them on, and... <laughs> I didn't think about the fact that my nails are clubbed, so it's a CF thing. Your nails get like, curved, and mine are not super clubbed, but they are a little bit, and I didn't think about that, and the nails totally didn't work, because if you're putting the fake nail down on a flat nail bed, like a normal person's nail, it would totally work. It would sit flat and it would seal and it would be perfect, but it totally didn't work for my clubbed nails, which also, I should have thought of that because I had tried like nail wraps many years ago, four or five, four-ish years ago, and they also didn't work for me because of my clubbed nails because it would get wrinkles in it. Anyway, long random story to tell you. I wore fake nails for like an hour and it was funny. I even, I got the length called real short, but I even cut those like another quarter inch off. So I think I'm just not cut out to be a fake nail person. I'll do the SNS every once in a while and I'll enjoy it. Otherwise, it's just not meant to be with my clubbed nails, I suppose. So there's a tip for the wise. If you have clubbed nails, probably don't even try the fake nails unless you've got some magical tip. I don't know. 
I don't know, but that's my random story for the day. Also, I will point out, after I tried the nails and they didn't work, Peter was like, I did think about the club, the clubbing when we were in the store, but I didn't say anything. And I was like, you know what? It's, it's fine that you didn't because <laughs> even if you had said something, like, hey babe, I wonder if that'll work with your clubbed nails. I would have been so adamant, like, oh, I'll make it work, it's fine. So I would have gotten them anyway. So, oh well. Okay, hey babe. Yeah. I have an article for you. Okay. I think it was written specifically for you, actually. Okay. It says, the headline is, if you were stabbed by a pencil and still have a mark, this post is for you. Oh, that's for me? There are pictures. Oh my, I guess I should read it. I don't know what it's gonna say here. Okay. So you should tell that story. Okay, so I was in like probably second or third grade. And uh, well, I think during that season of life, you always, <laughs> you always had to have a number two pencil. Like that was the thing, number two pencil. You always had to have one. And so I've got my khaki pants on because. So you were in a private school. I was in a private school and I had to wear khaki pants. So I had those in my pocket and I learned I learned the lesson that day that you probably should put them, I don't think you should even keep pencils in your pocket because it's too dangerous. Like, But I had it <laughs> facing up out of my pocket. Yeah, because you don't want the stem or the point to stab if your leg. If it's going down, it could you could have a mark in your leg. But uh, it was sticking out of my pocket, like coming out a little bit, and I'm going downstairs. Ah. So my arms are going down that direction. Anyways, my arm came down and it, hit, I guess I need to take my coat off so I can actually show you guys the mark, okay. but my arm hit and mm -hmm. uh, the pencil point came off in my arm so I just pulled it out and um, to this day, it's the other arm. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, my instinct was right to show this side. Yeah, oh, there, uh, it there it is. That right, wait, wait, let's see. That blue spot right there, that is uh, the mark, so let's read the article and see Okay, what it says. I gotta tell you, it's funny. Okay. You're gonna laugh. All right. Okay. It happens way more often than you'd think. You're just minding your own business and bam, you've got a tattoo for life. It's true. You may forget it's there, but okay. you'll never forget how it got there. That's true as well. You can find them on knees, on feet, on that weird area between your thumb and your pointer oh. finger. Do you have one of these graphite tattoos? I do. That is so Wait, funny. Are you scared for scarred Scarfer. for life? Yes. yes. Is it time to embrace the graph? It's time to embrace the graphite tattoo. Embrace the pencil stab. You're, You're not, not alone. alone. Okay, I wouldn't Wait, know how many it? people. All embrace the dot. All the graphite tattooed people <laughs> unite in the comments uh, because it is a shared experience when that pencil. Stabs you and anyways, anyways those thanks, are our, thanks for sharing that. Our honey. weird stories for a tired day, and as, as always, always, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Don't you think we're and good night to the Ollie boy. Eating his dinner.